When I decided to carve this mother and chick pair, the most challenging aspect was wanting to have the mother's bill resting on the chick's head. Luckily the local carving club had this casting that I could add clay to for a reference. Once it was roughly shaped, I traced it on a block of tuplo wood and took it to the bandsaw. With as much material as possible removed, I used a cut saw cylinder in my Dremel to get what the bandsaw couldn't. I will link the tools I used in the description. I did some rough shaping on the body and head before moving to the bill. Defining the sides and top of the bill with the cut saw, I moved on to a diamond flame bit to separate where the bill transitions into the feathers. With the basic shape formed, I started adding details to the top of the bill before starting to develop the shape of the chick's head. I worked this transition slowly because the bottom of the bill defined the location of the chick's head. Once I was confident with the location, I drilled through the remaining waste behind the chick's head and slowly removed material with a spiral cylinder bit. The final transition was defined with a diamond flame bit. I used the same bit to start the hole for the eyes, then open them up with the spiral bit. With all the major feather groups laid out, it was back to the cut saw to cut the separations and do the rough surface shaping. The final details in the bill were done with a diamond file and a wood burner. After shaping the chick's bill, I saturated it with a thin super glue to give it strength. The entire surface was sanded and the wing and tail feathers were separated using a V-tool and a nail file. The transitions from feather to feather were sharpened using the wood burner. Before any texturing, I like to lay out all the feathers. The feathers under the tail are fluffy, so I added more shape before texturing with a coarse blue ceramic stick. I like to wood burn the quills and barbs of the tail and wing feathers. I added some extra detail to the transition between the two birds before texturing the chick. The majority of the texturing was done with a finer white stone trying to keep the lines as tight as possible. Thank you.
Some extra detail was added around the eyes before the final texturing. I set the 10 millimeter glass eyes in Quickwood two-part epoxy putty. After mixing thoroughly, I place a small ball in the eye socket. The eyes are positioned by pushing them into the quick wood using an eraser. Make sure to check carefully for symmetry. Once the excess is wiped away, the eyelids are formed using a toothpick. One of the chick's eyes was hard to get to, so I glued it to a dowel and through drilled the eye hole so it could be placed from the opposite side. A little super glue was added to the back of the dowel to hold it in place before setting the other eye. The entire carving was coated in a heavy layer of half lacquer and half thinner. After it sat a couple of minutes, the surface was padded dry. The painting started with two washes of thin down white gesso, followed by three washes of raw sienna. The bills were painted with a base pink and then washed with burnt umber to get the transition in color. The chick was carefully painted around the transition areas before the details were added. The feather pattern on the mother definitely proved to be the most challenging paint job I have ever done. The softening of the chest feathers and a thin wash over the top of the details made the biggest impact.